I don't, I don't know if there'll be um, tears or anything like that in terms of this being my last championship. But um, yeah, it, uh, look, I've loved this tournament, and I think it's uh, it's been it's been brilliant to be uh, being a part of it. You know, and I feel privileged uh, having you know been at the start of the Six Nations when I was when I was coaching Ireland and, and Italy came into it, and then. Uh, so having having that experience and then having been involved with uh, Wales for a number of years too, so look, I feel very privileged to have been in the position that I have been in, and the opportunities that I've had in rugby, the opportunities rugby has given me, and, and the Six Nations as well. So look, I um, don't know how emotional I'll get because uh, you know it's a tough tournament to win, but you know, if we were lucky enough to um, come that last week and walk away with the championship, then that would be pretty special. Well, obviously, Gats has been there for the, the whole of my uh, in, international career, or for the majority. Of Gareth Jenkins was there, um, actually, for my first cap, but you know that was very early days. Um, had a few uh, successes and a, a, a few journeys, but um, yeah, he, he has been uh, unwavering in the way he approaches things. I said earlier that um, he wasn't afraid to change things um, on his terms, whereas sometimes it's very easy to change things because you. Was told to or the perception is you should um, but yeah he's he's stuck to his guns and he always t tends to um, do well when the pressure comes on and you know, he's, he's proved that over the years um, with it being his his last six nations and you know obviously um, he, he moves on at the end of the year he doesn't want any uh, sentimentality or affection he just wants us to go out too well for ourselves and for our country and you know that's the biggest tip of the cap we can do for our, our coaches is go out there and play well and that's what we'll try to do